Hello again, this is Omega Rider one Today we're going to be doing a review of Mobile Fighter G Gundam, one of my favorite series in the Gundam um, meta series of, of all time. Uh, well, I will have to say that this series has gotten a lot of shit from a lot of people for a long time. And very recently it's actually having a bit of a resurgence. So, without further ado, Mobile Fighter G Gundam. Plot. The first of the AU timelines. The story takes place in the future century, where space colonies have the upper hand over Earth. In order to prevent wars from breaking out over control of the Earth, a treaty was signed that entailed a tournament be held every few years between, gun between fighters representing the different colonies. These representatives are called Gundam Fighters, and their weapon of choice is the Gundam, a giant mech in the same vein as those from the previous series. The winner of the Gundam fight earns his slash her country, the, the or colony, the privilege of ruling, ruling the colonies in Earth until the next fight. The tournament is called the Gundam fight. It's now FC-16, the 13th Gundam fight has begun. Entering on behalf of Mio Japan is Domon Kashu, a rough martial artist looking for a man in a photo, asking all whom he meets. What does this mean? Who is the man in the picture? Why is Domon looking for him? All questions are answered as Domon progresses through the tournament. The story completely deviates from the usual style of Gundam, so much so that it unjustly received contempt for all the fans of the older series. Though it contains many aspects of shonen anime, the one thing it doesn't is the battle between good and evil's final conflict. Looking closely at what drives the two sides, you can see what, that both have valid points and justifications for their actions through logic and emotion, which I'm speaking of is of course Domon vs. Master Asia, not Domon vs. the Dark Gundam slash Alube, rather, uh, or rather the final villain is that both have a point in wanting to restore the Earth to its natural form, or at least why they're fighting for what they are. Aside from the overarching theme, the story does have good pacing and a lack of filler, almost every episode playing out like another piece of the puzzle in Domo's Quest. Combining mystery with romance, drama, and action, I give G Gundam a 20 out of 20 in terms of story. Characters Though the cast of G is bright and colorful with many different types of personalities, there exists one problem I'd like to discuss. One of the weakest points in G was its cast of villains. They rarely stood a chance against the heroes, and we knew that. The only really powerful villain was Master Asia, and even then they made him seem weak by the end of the first half when Dunlum owned him in the Shining Gundam, and before that was Schwartz Bruder. Maybe Hyper Mode did make a big difference, but... Where the villains fa failed, the heroes easily made up for it, with each having a distinct personality and background, often backstory, often serving as an allegorical rep uh, interpretation or representation of the countries that they represent. I give the characters a 7.5 out of 10. Art. Again, let's start off with the negatives. A lot of the MS designs are bad, often stereotypical and downright offensive. Not just with the Gundams either. It's with the colonies, too, a.k.a. the Sombrero Colony for Neo-Mexico. However, the sheer offensive nature and coriness is meant to be funny and should be treated as such. It's not meant to be serious. As for anything serious, the art style is very well done, and many of the action sequences, no matter what MS, in, MS is involved, looks pretty good. I give the art a 3.5 out of 5. Music. Some of the best in the meta series. Honestly, G has one of the best BGM and intro and outro lineups I've ever seen in any one of the shows. Its two openings are the best I've heard from any of the other artists, while the BGM and orchestral soundtrack is both epic at some points and perfectly tailored to scenes at others. Both Flying in the Sky and Trust You Forever lend an upbeat vibe and get the blood pumping for the episode, while the epic BGMs are all around great to listen to on their own. And that's excluding the excellent in-show songs or inserts like Kitayo, uh, Kitayo Katsutamini that sounds good and are offered up as replacement BGMs for scenes like Domo learning the Psychiatra and Kyokin. I give the music a 5 out of 5. Voice acting. Refer to every review beforehand. Thank you. Gunnam always has good voice acting. We're done. Overall... One of, if not the best, of the AU series. G Gundam brings a lot to the party. 
including new patterns for later shows to follow. Though it may not fit the model of Gundam shows before and after it, or that of anyone who watches Gun Gundam, or is watching the show just because they want it to follow a certain style, G still manages to form its own identity and still feel like Gundam despite being such a, having such a radical shift from the norm. I give G Gundam a 9.2 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this review. <laughs> And for next time, we get into Gundam Wing. This is Omega Writer 1 saying, I'll be seeing you later.